Good afternoon, everybody. How we doing? It's me. I'm here for weekly picks. Just me this time, and it's mostly my fault. Uh, busy day yesterday, and then the evening just kind of, I don't know, it was just kind of off. Uh, and then I ended up, I, I made dinner last night. I made uh, carbonara for the family last night. So uh, it was a mix of busy and not just, just not. I don't know, just not feeling it, I suppose. So, mostly my fault. Um, so, uh, picks from Tim and Tyler, I don't know if and when I'll get those. Whole series is unraveling anyway. Um, but I'm here. I'm still here. I'm going to give you my picks. I have them written down here on a piece of paper because uh, I can't look at them on my phone because if I like even if I don't stop recording on the camera if I hit the little thing to open a different app it stops recording which is kind of annoying that's why I like recording these on my computer generally anywho uh I, I realized I think when I recorded Monday uh for my state of the NFL video I'm pretty sure I said it was the end of week eight and I was mistaken. It was the end of week nine. We're going into week 10 already, which just boggles my mind that we're in the 10th week of the NFL already. And here, half of us didn't even think the season was going to happen. Um, you know, it's, it's weird. It's funny sometimes how time just flies, you know? It's like the days, I don't know about you guys, but for me personally, the days go by slow as all hell individually but then at one point I'll just sit and look back and go Jesus we're midway through November already where in the hell did the rest of the year go so with all of that aside also I have a new Mountain Dew flavor it got uh, it's 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 cherry it's the uh, it's the new what is it no I'm sorry cranberry pomegranate and other natural flavors it's their holiday edition and honest to God it's pretty good The Halloween ones are gone. I was upset about that because, my God, those things were so good. This is really good, though. Uh, I'm a Mountain Dew addict, for those of you who don't know. Um, <clears throat> I, every every flavor, I just, I like I like Mountain Dew quite a bit, which is probably not good, you know, for, but whatever. It's good, so it, it tastes good. Um, yeah, all right, let's get started. So, Thursday night, I'm actually... I don't even know why. I haven't had a particularly long week or anything like that. I'm just really excited to sit down and just watch football tonight. Um, so the Thursday night game is Colts at Titans. I talked about this a bit on Monday. I think the Colts have kind of been coasting along on this easy schedule. Uh, they have a lot of really tough games coming up uh, down the stretch the last half of the season. they got to play the Titans twice. Uh, the Packers are on that schedule somewhere. Um Kansas City, I believe, is on that schedule somewhere. I, I, be, I believe. I could be wrong on that one. I could be wrong on Kansas City, actually. Uh, but anywho, the, the, the Titans twice and the Packers, if nothing else, is no easy uh, feat. Um, so tonight I've got the I've got Titans winning. Uh, I, I think they're, they're kind of on a bit of a roll here. Uh, I, I know they have dropped a couple games recently, particularly that Cincinnati game. But, you know what, by the way, I have absolutely no basis for this whatsoever, but I'm really confident in my picks this week. No basis in that whatsoever, but I feel good. So, is this the first time I get a perfect week? Probably not. Uh, all right, first of the Sunday games, Texans at Cleveland Browns. I got Cleveland taking this one. Um, Cleveland, I think they were on their bye week too last week, correct? I think I'm correct. I think I'm right there. Um... Cleveland's one of those teams, like I said, I got to make the playoffs. I think they're going to win a few more games down the stretch here. Uh, they're going to be just enough to get one of those wild card spots. So I've got I'm, I've got them beating Houston. I, I cannot believe Houston is this bad, but they do seem to be this bad. So Cleveland. Uh, Washington at Detroit Lions. Everything I've heard is that Alex Smith is going to start, which 
Thank God, I don't know why they didn't... Maybe there's a perfectly good reason for them not starting Alex Smith at some point during the seasons. But, and I understand why you wanted to go with Dwayne Haskins. Because he's spent a draft pick on him. I get it. But, when you decided he wasn't the answer and pulled him out, did you really think... I, I, I just, I'm not sure I understand the thought process behind believing that Kyle Allen was going to give you a better chance to win games than Alex Smith would. Unless I, I don't watch Washington practices. Maybe there's something there that the coaches saw. I don't know. But I, I don't know. I'd have been playing Alex Smith long before this, especially if nothing else for the story. I mean, come on. It's a perfect story. With all that being said, <laughs> I'm picking Detroit here. Uh, I think Detroit is not a great football team by any stretch of the imagination, but I think they're a... I'm going to call them a... Is Matt Stafford playing this week? I actually do not know. He left the game in the fourth quarter last week. I'm pretty sure I heard it was a concussion. See, this is something I should have looked up before I came out here, but I was busy at work. And I can't really exit this now. I, okay. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to preface this here. If Stafford plays, I'm picking Detroit. If Stafford doesn't play, I'm picking Washington. There, There's how that's working. I might do a little bit of digging after I get off work tonight before I post this video, and then I'll just put something on Twitter if if anybody cares. Hey, I'm picking, you know, Stafford is playing, I'm picking Detroit or whatever. Not that anybody actually gives a shit. Bucks at Carolina Panthers. Listen, I I'm not sure if angry Tom Brady is a thing as much as angry Aaron Rodgers is, but uh Tom Brady does not often lose two games in a row and uh with the absolutely embarrassing performance that Tampa Bay put on last week. I don't think I see it happening again, and I especially don't think I see it happening versus the Panthers. Uh, Panthers, by the way, I believe I read this morning that Christian McCaffrey is out at least for this game. Um, look, the Panthers are a scrappy team. Uh, they've played... They've played really close in a lot of games. They have looked, despite their record, they have looked better than I thought they would, and they've looked better than I think a lot of people thought they would. Uh, the running game has been pretty solid, even without CMC. Uh, Mike Davis has looked quite good. Um, and and Brid Bridgewater's, Bridgewater's been playing. He, he's, he's looked pretty good so far. Um... With that being said, like I said, I don't I don't think Brady and the Bucks are going to drop two in a row, especially after the embarrassment that they faced last week. So I think I'm picking the Bucks, but I expect the Panthers to at least make this a game. Eagles at New York Football Giants. I read an interesting stat the other day. Daniel Jones in his NFL career has five wins as a starting quarterback in the NFL. Four of those five wins are against the Washington Redskins, now the Washington football team. <sighs> I, to think I had this team going like 7-9, 8-8 eight and eight this year. What was I smoking? Oh, Lord. I, mm, this division. Um, I'm trying to think four or five against the Reds because I'm trying to think who that one other win was against. I'm not sure I can remember who it was. I could figure it out, but I don't care right now. Uh, anywho, uh, the other stat I thought was interesting. I think the Eagles have beaten the Giants eight times straight now, or maybe, maybe it was nine times straight. Uh, I think we're going to go 10 times straight here, personally. I, I don't see, uh, I, look, the Giants aren't, the Giants aren't, very, and I am not saying the Eagles are a very good football team. 
But Giants are not a very good football team. I'm going to try and do a uh, preview for this probably tomorrow. Um, yeah, preview for this tomorrow. I'm picking Philly. Jags at Packers. Packers, I, I don't even think this was much of a discussion. The kid in Jacksonville looked half decent last week. I cannot remember his name. Not Minshew, the other guy. He looked decent. Excuse me, but the, the Packers are just... I don't think the Packers are losing this game. Bills at Cardinals. This should be an outstanding game. It's a shame I won't get to watch it. Um... I'm picking Buffalo. I think it's going to be close, and this is one of those games that I think could go 50-50 if the Cardinals win. I will not be surprised. But for the sake of this, uh, I'm picking the Bills. Their win against Seattle last week was genuinely impressive. Um, so I'm picking Buffalo. Just a, a, a quick tidbit there. I watched now that I've seen the highlights for that game. If anybody, the, for people that are actually blaming Russell Wilson for that loss. You guys are morons. That's all I'm going to say. Chargers at Miami Dolphins. This is another one of those games I think is going to be absolutely outstanding. Uh, the Dolphins have looked very, very good so far for the most part this year. They, they, they tripped up a bit early, but they've come into form. The defense in particular has come into form. Um, Tua has looked all right so far. Um, and the Chargers on the other, the other side of the line, Justin Herbert has been excellent 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 um he didn't play as good i didn't think last week against the raiders and by that i mean he didn't look like a superstar he still looked really good um i think this game is going to come down to defense and i think i like the dolphins defense a little bit better than the chargers uh as good as herbert is i like the dolphins offense as well um not necessarily over the Chargers offense, but I like them both, and I like the Chargers, uh, the uh, Dolphins defense better than the, Do the Chargers. I like the Dolphins defense better than the Chargers defense. That's what I'm getting at. So I'm picking Miami here uh, in a close game. <laughs> Broncos at Raiders. Uh, I'm picking Oakland here. Um, the Broncos have been wildly inconsistent so far this year. Um, and, uh, I'm, I'm kind of liking what I see out of the Raiders so far. So, uh, I'm going to go with, uh, I'm going to go with Las Vegas here. Uh, what's next? Seahawks at Rams. I think this is the first 425 game. Uh, I'm going to Seattle. I, I don't think, uh, I don't know. I, I, I don't think I've seen the Rams. The Rams are another one of those teams that have been really inconsistent, um, you know, what did they hang on Philly? Like 35 or 40? So it was something. It was a lot of points. Uh, and then they got smacked by Miami, who's a good team. But I, I don't know. I just, I'm not sure. I'm picking Seattle here. But the, the Rams are the Rams are funny. They're kind of tough to pick because they've been so inconsistent. Um, but I am picking Seattle here. I, I think the Seahawks are going to have a bounce back win. Uh, Bengals at Steelers. Bengals, another one of those teams that I think is playing better than their record. Um, but uh, the Steelers are 8-0, and, and there's, you know, that, that's a testament to something. Um, I, I think I think Pittsburgh played... Uh, Pittsburgh didn't play very well last week. Um, and playing, if they continue to play like they did last week... They're not going to finish undefeated. Um, but uh, I, I think they'll do enough to get a win over the Bengals here, certainly. Uh, 49ers at New Orleans Saints. The 49ers kind of battered and broken. Uh, the Saints coming off a monster, monster NFC South win. Uh, I think they keep it rolling. I've got New Orleans here. Sunday Night Football, Ravens at Patriots. Maybe not as good of a game as has been in years past. Um I'm picking the Ravens here. The Patriots just, I mean, come on. They beat the Jets by the skin of their teeth. Um, yeah, I. there was a part of me that wanted to pick the upset here and go New England, and I'm not even sure why I wanted to, um, but I, I don't think I'm going to. I think I'm going to stick safe and 
pick the Ravens here. Uh, Monday Night Football, Vikings at Bears. The Vikings on a bit of a hot streak coming in. The Bears very much the opposite. Um, I've heard rumors of Trubisky coming back, then benching Foles. I don't think it'll happen this week. Uh, and either way, I don't think it'll matter. I'm picking Minnesota here. Uh, Dalvin Cook has been playing out of his mind. And... Uh, Cousins has been looking decent the last few weeks. So uh, I, I like I like the Vikings in this game. Bears, uh, uh, the Bears have always been frauds, in my opinion, anyway. So that's that. Those are, those are my picks. So I've got Titans, Browns, Lions if Stafford plays, Bucks, Eagles, Packers, Bills, Dolphins, Raiders, Seahawks, Steelers, Saints, Ravens, Vikings. I don't know why, but I'm feeling good about this one. I'm feeling about, I'm feeling good about this week. So, uh, I'll get this posted when I get home, and um, I'm going to head back into work here in a minute. I will see you guys probably uh, tomorrow for an Eagles-Giants preview. So I will talk to you then. Have a good day, good rest of your evening, and uh, see you tomorrow. See ya.